Boys, we're back. This is episode five. Oh, episode four. Four episodes into it. I think we're rolling, fellas. We sound good. We got some good topics, and I'm excited for tonight. So, we'll talk about NFL playoffs, preview, recap, and then we're going to move on to some basketball stuff, talk about Kobe Bryant, and then we're going to go see where it goes from there. So, who's on here? Let's talk about who's on here. First of all, I do want to say something real quick before we even introduce the rest of you knuckleheads. My brother, my blood, Ken Fryerson is here in the building with us tonight, and so... Can you just say uh, something okay, to the people? Yes, What's sir. going on, everybody? I'm so happy to be here with the fellas. Uh, the podcast is off to a wonderful start, and I'm just honored to be sitting next to my brother and these uh, gentlemen that we have on tonight. Thanks for having me. Listen, and here's the thing. This podcast is 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 uh, it's intellectual, but it's also <laughs> ignorant. So we know you got your master's degree, and we know you got all that. But come on now. Let your hair down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Let's yeah. We don't need all those words dubious and I'm, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need none of that tonight. So uh, listen, let's do the introductions. Uh, to my right, it's your boy Shelton Davis. Follow me on Instagram at Shelton Davis. Let's get it. Yes, and I'm Derek Luke. Uh, follow me on Instagram at uh, Derek. No, I'm, uh, Matthew Frierson. Uh, Instagram Matthew Frierson. M A T T H E W F R I E R S O N. Uh, go ahead, kid. Oh, y'all ain't gotta follow me. Okay. Well, hey. <laughs> he said. He said, "Don't follow me. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't follow me." Okay. Who's who, who's who zoomed in? Who zoomed in? Go ahead, Tuck. Oh, man. oh, I'm. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you already know what it is. Blake tuned in live from East Lansing this week. Uh, Kevin. Usual suspects on social media: Blake <laughs> underscore uh, Alexander on Instagram, Blizzy underscore Rogers on Twitter, and Clubhouse. So. And Kevin, okay, Kevin in the back. It's your boy Marcus <laughs> Tucker um, coming to y'all live, man. Back in Michigan, excited. So again, shout out to Michigan. Michigan. Follow me, just have Uno. Where you at? Where you at? Where you in Michigan now? I'm in, I'm in, Mar- I'm in Marquette though. I'm, I'm oh, back. Yeah, you know, up up Jamal Marker. Coleman, J- Jamal R. Coleman on all platforms, man. Yep, that's that's uh, Jamal Levante Coleman. Follow him on all platforms <laughs> at at Jamal <laughs> Levante <laughs> Leon Coleman. <laughs> yes, he has he has the most black he has yeah. the most black name you will ever come across and lives in Wisconsin. The third, yeah, the third. Jamal Coleman, yeah, the third, the third. That oh, that man. name is a nightmare for job applications <laughs> in this day and age. <laughs> Listen, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. The NFL it's coming to the big game here. Two weeks, the Super Bowl, uh, Bills, Chiefs, and then. Packers, uh, Packers, and and Bucks. What did what, what did you see? What did you like? What did you take away? You know, I'm not a Brady fan, so yeah, we know. it is what it is. But what 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 what's some stuff y'all saw that that really stuck out? Well, I'll, I'll get this thing cracked off, man. I was there. I was in you Green was Bay there um, at the game. Yeah, you limbo? yeah. I, I was not at the game, but I was in Green Bay. I went to uh, what is it called? side view or stadium view or something like that the crusty crab um, yeah pretty much the chum bucket, <laughs> the chum uh, bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yo it was it was the environment was off the chain man uh they were out there everybody was out there the, the fans the crowd just it was dope right and i think the first thing that stuck out to me from the game from just watching is that like the packers your strong suit your strong suit right is oh, I'm sorry, no, went out. Somebody tried to call me. The Packers' strong suit is their offense. They've never been like, oh, the Packers. When we play the Packers, we worried about what the defense going to do. So to me, I think they kind of lost the game out the gate because you won the toss and you allowed Tom Brady to get the ball and he marched it right down the field. Yeah, I don't get and that, scored. Man. I don't get you know that. what I'm saying. How and so that instantly that? puts you with a, a tremendous amount of pressure being at home. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, if you go out as the offense and go three and out, that's not a lot of pressure, right? right. But if you kick the ball to the greatest quarterback of all time, sorry, Matt, Matt you know. Yeah. Uh, so if you kick the ball to the greatest quarterback of all time <laughs> and he goes out and score, that's pressure on you right there that you got to make something happen. They jumped on them boys real quick, man. This is what I don't so get. I, this is what I don't get. 
So even if you go okay, even if you go for it on fourth down, like you said, and you don't get it, now they gotta go the length of the field. Okay. Ninety two yards. Ninety two yards. They have all their timeouts, Green Bay did. And you're looking at a situation where it's possible that you can get a three and out. And yeah. now we're going the other way. That's why I didn't get so it. I don't I don't understand. And then not only that, but how do you not how do you not allow Aaron Rodgers? I mean, you gotta take a chance on your guy. Well, his explanation was I, I the agree. first three plays, they got no yards. But I'm still like, bro, you that don't matter. You got one of the best this quarterbacks in the league. We in the NFC Championship right, right, game. Right. This, this is, is for it, the Super Bowl. Right. Like, why are you not <laughs> going for it? Like, the heck are we trying to play for the Super Bowl? This ain't, right. this ain't, week, this ain't week three. Right. <laughs> yeah. This ain't the regular season. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you, guys, it's just a preseason. Yeah, relax, just a preseason okay, game. We're just testing some things out here. Uh, right. And then my thing about Lafleur is, um, this is listen. I, I you saw what Aaron Rodgers said when they asked him well, how he felt about it, and he said, he said "Listen, it wasn't his decision." Yeah, he said it wasn't my call. He said, "I understand yeah. it, but it wasn't my decision." And that right there is all I need to hear. That's basically like saying I thought it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> without saying it, you know, and I, it makes you look at the floor like, what's up? Even though I yeah. think Aaron should have pushed it more to go for it, I don't. Think I, he, yeah, that's my other I point. Don't think that's he my other pushed point. It enough because you're Aaron Rodgers. Like, that's my bro. other point. I looked at the sideline like, and said, "No, we're, no, going, we're going for it." For it. Like, the heck, it's Tom no. Brady over there. Yeah, <laughs> the heck, <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom Brady over there. It's not. You know, Dan Dan the matches man. It's right. Tom Brady over there. So we gotta right. we gotta punch it in. Now, you know, one granted they could have two. Tom Brady needing one, one first, first down. down. That's it. And the game was over. Yeah. I, I mean I could be wrong, but he's won a couple Super Bowls, hasn't he? Yeah, quite a few. I I I thought maybe I'm wrong, but he's won a yeah. couple. Um so listen, I think that was a winnable <clears throat> game. So where does this leave Aaron Rodgers? I mean, where does this leave Aaron Rodgers at this point? I don't I don't unless he goes somewhere else. They're obviously not going to give him any help. They haven't the whole time he's been there. I mean, what ha, what what's, where does this leave him? What do you do? It, it, it leaves him uh, salty. <laughs> yeah, uh, for, no, one. for one. Uh, <laughs> but it, it also leaves him as uh, the greatest quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Currently playing. I mean. You didn't ask me my rankings, but I've got Aaron Rodgers at number one. My guy. I've got Patrick Mahomes at yeah. number one. My guy. And then Tom yeah. Brady. Doesn't mean, and that takes nothing away from Tom Brady, uh, but right. <laughs> you can't take the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands. Yeah. And and I think Green Bay has shown time and time again that they don't have the same level of respect no, no, for no. the greatest quarterback that they've ever had right. even and, yeah right. and i mean bruce arians on the other side he almost did the same thing yeah he was gonna play and then he said wait a minute yeah. i got brady yeah go yeah. back out there yeah you know yeah. and yeah. so I, you know i think that was one of the most disrespectful things that i've seen in a long time in sports and it's one of the the dumbest things that i've seen in the nfl as far as plays are concerned is second to pete carroll Oh my two, god, that's uh, the, that's second the dumbest thing yeah. I've ever seen. It, it almost rivaled that, but Pete Carroll still holds the title. Listen, yeah, yeah that was that was sure. that was utterly sure. and that was just stupid. But this is this is a side note. So so Bet MGM had a thing where they gave you a hundred dollars to place a bet and you can win some money, basically house money. So the <laughs> the bet was who was gonna score the first touchdown. In this Packers Bucks game, that's okay. So my buddy Cam Stover, he had the he put the money up and he said, "What's what? What, what are you thinking?" I said, "I think we go with Valdez Scantling to score the first touchdown." I don't know. I just think we go Valdez Scantling. So the first drive, Mike Evans scores. So I was already out. But keep in mind, Mike Evans scored on third and nine. Mm. So that could have yeah. been a, that could have very well been a field goal. Mm. And then right. the Packers come down. They go three and out. Then the Bucks go three and out, and then the Packers come back, and guess who scores the first, the second touchdown? Valdez Scantling. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. was two thousand dollars that I missed out on, and I'm not, I'm not betting ever again. <laughs> <laughs> like Jay Will said, it broke my spirit. <laughs> it broke my spirit. Just that little two thousand dollars <laughs> broke my spirit. Jay Will. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Will. Shout out to Jay Will. I don't know how much money he lost, but he made himself look like a fool. On oh, he television. was so hurt. He was hurt. Yeah. Oh my God! Um, so this is what I think. I think Aaron Rodgers. If I'm Aaron Rodgers, I'm making a push to go to New Orleans. I really am. Why not? Mm. I mean, why not? 
Drew Brees is gone. Then Jameis isn't going to be the quarterback. And Taysom Hill, that was cute, but you're not going to be the quarterback either. So I think, you. I mean, Aaron Rodgers goes over there. You got Kamara. You got Mike Thomas. You. I mean, you have a, you, a defense that's good enough at least for another two years. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not go somewhere? But, I mean, he has the same thing in Green Bay. Because they can't afford him. I mean, but I, I think I think I think I think when it comes to Father Time, I think Father Times, <laughs> I think I think his expenses aren't but, as expensive. Yeah, <laughs> but, father, yeah. father, I'll say this: Jamal, Father yeah, Time is father, cheap. Father Time will make you very affordable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Time is <laughs> that'll make you very affordable. Like yeah. That. So I mean, you know what I'm I mean, why not? But, but, no. yeah, but Aaron, ask, ask some of these twenty, ask some of these forty-year-old women what they're gonna do for for forty dollars. Oh, okay, yeah. makes you big. Oh, <laughs> oh, anyway, bro, bro. all right, bro. All right. Uh, uh, this way, bro. We're, listen, we're sponsored by he's, Disney he's Channel. Right. We cannot <laughs> talk yeah, like that on the show. I said, just ask them. Yeah, no, that's not really good. I think he has to stay in Green Bay. Right. I mean, he has Absolutely. he has everything that he needs in Green Bay, minus the uh, defense. Trust. Well, minus the trust of his coach. But I think Which his coach huge. won't make that mistake. Unless, I think he has more questions to answer than anybody. And yes. Lafleur, um, yeah. Right. And let's not forget they're twenty six and six over the last two years with two NFC championship appearances and no ring to show for. But they're on a doorstep, though. They're on a doorstep. Listen, listen, yeah, bro, but, 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 but Aaron Rodgers is a champion. So let me. Yeah, he does have a ring. He's what a champion, and, he's, and why? So why sacrifice the the salary to go to New Orleans when you're already a champion and you're gonna retire soon? Green you got Bay. all you got all the pieces right. in Green Bay that Green New Bay, Orleans has. Right, Green Bay and the Saints are basically the same team. So I mean, Brady it's the same did situation. It? No, Brady did it's the same situation. No, why, no, no, why, no, why did Brady need to leave? Because they had no weapons. He just never had any weapons. No, right. They had no, 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 no What? Right. Brady's never had no. any weapons had other Gronk. than Randy Moss. Yeah, Gronk. What? Who's Gronk. Gronkowski? You said Who's Brady? Gronkowski? Listen, Brady's had Gronk. Who and he's is had, Robert Gronkowski? He's had Gronkowski and he's had Randy Moss. Name me another top receiver that Brady's had other than Gronkowski and Randy Moss. He had... He had Chad Ochocinco for a little bit. In, a, in, the, in the twilight of his career. Decent. Yeah, Edelman is Julian Edelman. Edelman's always Edelman been decent. Edelman helped them win the Super Bowl. Danny West, was, West was good. He was West Walker was good. West Walker, uh, okay. West Walker yes. was good when he was there. Okay, now, yeah. now, now but, no, but, but beyond decent. that, they, they also had defense. Yeah, they had defense. They had, defense. had, a, right. they had that, great defense. That, you know, and they don't right. have those, those, they don't. those guys. Okay, so this is my question then. Since y'all talk about the doorstep and all that. Yeah. Green Bay's not going to win with the team that they have right now. They're not, especially Absol- if Tampa Bay's coming they back. Absolutely not. So I, what, I mean, so what doorstep are we talking about? New Orleans isn't either. Yeah, I think he has a better shot right. in New Orleans than he does in. No, Green he does Bay. not. No, he does not. I think I no. think New Orleans, so, New Orleans so, has a way better defense. Listen, Matt. So look, let me ask you this: look at so the he divisions. joins New Orleans to get over there against Tom Brady, Brady again. twice a year. No, that's not smart. Yeah, okay, a year. here's the not smart. Here's right. the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Let's be honest: the Saints. The Saints beat themselves in that game against Tampa Bay. Let's be, I mean, it was a couple plays that shifted momentum off rip. You go and think about it. If Jared Cook does, if Jared Cook doesn't drop that, doesn't fumble the ball, they're going into and it's now it's twenty seven to thirteen going into the fourth quarter. Okay, that's a whole different ball game. Then, then no, but what we're saying is, why would you go over there? To face Tom Brady twice, maybe three times in a year. Like why? Okay, so okay, so then give me that? okay, so then give me the alternative. Keep, Stay get, in keep Green getting Bay. your t- and lose. Well, I mean, I mean, roll, so roll the dice <laughs> and maybe gonna, it can work, or stay and lose for sure. Because they're not going to give him anybody else. They're not. But I mean, but Aaron Rodgers has owned the NFC North. Man, he's going I mean, to own it. It's quiet as kept. Everybody talks about yeah, Tom yeah, Brady and and and, the and, and, and that's a, and that's a but, great and that's a great feat for a guy who's won a Super Bowl. Well, I, at least I own the AFC North. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a great consolation <laughs> but prize. But he does have a Super Bowl. You want to get to a battle and, with Tom Brady? Right, Brady's been in AFC East all those years. So what are you going to say about him? I mean, okay, yeah, so, well, yeah, Brady, saying, Brady you know, owned a division that played the Jets and the Dolphins 12 <laughs> times a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, they played the Lions. And, and, you know what I'm they saying? They played the Lions that, and us. Yeah, but, yeah, but, our, like yeah, but our division. The Bears ain't been good since but 08. Our, I think so. our division. <laughs> since the what? Since 08. Since 08. Hey, well, listen, Rex when y'all won, when y'all, y'all, y'all slapped up. When y'all slapped up. What'd you say, Jamal? <laughs> Rex, and Aaron Rex, Rex and Rex Wilson has the same amount of Super Bowl appearances. Well, congratulate you. Right. Well, go get Rex Grossman a cookie. <laughs> Who cares? Like, what is that? 
So oh, Rex Grossman has a Super Bowl okay. appearance. I'm so what? Okay, okay so listen. Okay, okay, so listen. It, so, it, happened in, it happened in 08. Shut up. The point, is, <laughs> the point is, he's running Ramshack over a trash division, just like Tom Brady was running Ramshack over a trash division. Ramshack. He was I mean, playing yeah. the Jets and the Bills. And, and, the, and the Bills was trash. So why, the so why go to another division where you face Tom, facing Tom Brady? Stay I don't, I don't, in the north. This is my thing, though. This is my thing, though. Shot every year. This is my like, thing, though. I think Aaron Rod- right. I think Aaron Rodgers, instead of Drew Brees, on that Saints team this year in that game, beats Tampa Bay. They, I they do. They I do. Agree. But I, I don't think that's enough. For him. I, I don't think that's enough for him to lose. What I think is, I think that's a young coach who made a stupid mistake. You got to mind yourself. Everybody think it's so cool to go get these young offensive coordinators and stuff, and they don't know what they're doing, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's his first time being in this situation. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he has to find himself as well. And I think that Aaron Rodgers, to me, should have been – he should have been more like, yo, like this, like y'all said earlier, y'all, like, yo, we're going for this. This is my – like, that's Aaron Rodgers' team. That's so, 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 Tuck, so, Tuck, so, Tuck, let me ask you this question. So, Tuck, let me ask you this question. Okay, yeah. you just said these young these young coaches have to find themselves, okay? So, yeah. help, help me understand the thought process of a Matt LaFleur to not do what we all thought he should have done in that situation. None of us are coaches, and none of us have experience, and we're all sitting here from the couch saying you got to go for that. So what if he can't figure that out? I think he's got a long road to development. Well, he figured. (laughs) Well, no. Well, he figured because go ahead, Sheldon. Okay, he figured that his defense could get a stop because that whole second half, Brady threw three interceptions. They essentially got four timeouts. So you think, okay, yeah, got four timeouts. Okay. How many one stop? He was going with the analytics. Yeah, yeah. The analytics, exactly the analytics, don't, win the analytics don't, win don't win games. The analytics don't don't win games. Thank you. But here's my thing. Those are his thought process. And how many of those turnovers? Okay, how many of those turnovers did Green Bay then turn around and go three and out? Okay, so not so now so not, you're not so not only that. So sure, we are gonna put that doesn't help. That don't, I don't think that helps what you're saying. No, what, I, what, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is okay. We're gonna give it to my defense. Okay, so say I don't say we don't go for it. Okay, whatever. Then we go on offense. They're going to stop us anyway because we haven't been able to go back and convert the, the stopping the points. So either way, but like you you're said, not scoring to win. No, so but, you got to go for no, but, but it like to, you, to tie it. But like you said earlier, if they go for it and don't get it, they're at the eight-yard line. The chances that Tampa go, gets aggressive in that, that situation is not yeah, is not very high. Slim. I mean, so I don't, if you're stopping four and out. Slim. You're getting a ball basically and I on agree a fifth right line. there. I agree with that. But yard line, half a field with like a minute and change. And I, I agree. Rogers. I I'm agree. Like, I agree with that. But my only issue is if there's anybody in the NFL that can go 92 yards in in closing time, it's Tom Brady. That's my only. I mean, I, I get it. I'm saying I, the the analytics are not on their side. But if there's anybody who can do that, it's Tom Brady. <laughs> it's Tom Brady. It's not Philip Rivers over there. I it's should. Tom Brady. <laughs> I mean, I it's should. not even Rex Grossman <laughs> over there. It's Tom Brady. <laughs> I probably I should have started by saying I'm probably the least <laughs> the least qualified oh, to, good, to good. have this conversation, especially I mean, it's even though Matt LaFleur. No, but I'm saying like, <laughs> but I do think it's important to say that he he was thinking. I will give him that credit. I mean, right. he was he was thinking. He had a strategy. I don't agree with it, mm-hmm. but he had a strategy. But you said that. Uh, Aaron Rodgers with this Saints team would have beat Tom Brady this year. I think Aaron Rodgers with this Green Bay team would have beat Tom Brady this year. Maybe had they made a different decision on fourth down. So I'm just going back right. to say that I think that you give it another shot. You do. You're you give on it another a doorstep. Shot. You're right there twice. Like, bro. I mean, I, I, think, I mean, we're talking as if we're talking as if Aaron Rodgers is not in the twilight of his career. That's my only issue. Teams are getting better year by year. Defenses are getting better year by year. I mean, players are. I mean, look at just look at in the course of a year, Tom Brady had the Justice League on his team. In the course of a year, I mean, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's, I got a question for and, you. And where does Matt Stafford go next? Year? You know what I'm saying? Like we don't know the moving parts in the, the off hell? season to just. <laughs> to <laughs> just you said, you to said, what he said to hell. All right, you said now, but if he end up in Chicago, you be he ain't not, something different. Chicago, they're not going to change him. Chicago, you forget that. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to do that. Did, did Matt, did Matt Patricia like him? Because he might no. go to New England. No, he didn't like him. Okay, Stafford didn't like him. I'll, no, no. 
I'll I'll say this. I and I know you guys jumped with the Aaron Rodgers to the Saints thing first, but when Matt Stafford first started having that thing that that those trade rumors uh, bounce around, that was the first thing I said. I said Matt I would like to, to see Matt Stafford. Yeah, I would like to see him there, bro. I, I really would. I mean, you give Matt, you, you give Matt Stafford, Mike Thomas, them and, weapons. Ooh, yeah, he's ooh. used to throwing it up to them go get it type of guys like yeah, that. He is. Man. He and 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 I think he's a quarterback who can come in, he can learn, and he can make throws and do some things with his feet and everything that uh, Breeze kind of wasn't able to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, and they're not going to win with a. A trick them, you know, slick them quarterback like Taysom Hill, who's you know, yeah. you got to do all this weird, funky stuff to yeah, try to make it be too much some, work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so too much like, of a project. Bumbarooski, <laughs> <laughs> Bumbarooski, yeah, Bumbarooski. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. Liz, let, okay, so, yeah, Bill, so Bill, Bill's that was Chiefs. Kinda what I was thinking, Bill's Chiefs. I mean, there's not much to talk about here. We knew that the Chiefs were going to beat Buffalo. Oh, for sure. Listen, I, for like, sure. I'm going to be honest with you. They got nervous, though. At first, listen, yeah. I said last yeah. week on the show, last week on the show I said I don't think the Bills are for real. And I, I stand by that. Now, leading up to the game, like I said, I mean, <laughs> clearly, they're not. But leading up to the game, there were some different matchups and stuff that experts talked about where it was like, okay, this could be a close game that I think they were going to win. No. So this is my question to everybody who said that they were Bills believers. I mean, what what's going on? Why why would why were we even entertaining the Bills being able to beat no to beat Kansas City? Why why were we even entertaining that? Uh, so I'm, I wasn't uh, I wasn't uh, here for the conversation, but let me say this: I think if you were a Bills believer, I think it is the notion of the underdog. It's sometimes, I mean, they had nothing to lose. So if you got some guys right, that are coming to play, but if you got guys that are coming to play and going to leave it all yeah, out yeah, there, sure, sure. and it's hard to go back as defending champs. So that didn't help. So you, it's hard right. to repeat. And you got guys that are, that are almost fight you like they almost did anyway. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, you know, there was a, there was a shot. Yeah. I, I don't disagree yeah. that they had a, I don't think, I don't think they didn't have a shot. I'll say that. Well, I did think that he didn't have a shot, but I, but I will say that at, they were at least going to be competitive, and even that was wrong to say. No, I didn't even it was, think it was good. The whole time, bro, I was saying man, they're I'm winning by me, 14 plus. I, I was saying that the whole time. I think I, I Bills are Chiefs by 14 plus. My my biggest fear was that Pat Mahomes wasn't going to be Pat Mahomes. That was my only. That was the only. I didn't know what his head was like. I didn't know what the protocol. I didn't know any of that in terms of his health. So I said to myself, if he's not 100%, the Bills really got a chance. They really got a chance. But he came out and he was 100%. So oh, absolutely. there was nothing to talk about at that point. Oh. You know. yeah. So so who so who wins the Super Bowl? Chiefs. Chiefs. Ooh. Chiefs. I think Chiefs, Chiefs. do. I mean, listen, Tampa Bay has Ooh. a great chance to win it. And it's in Tampa Bay. That's that right game. there is it's huge. Game for them. No, but there's no fans, and who cares about 7,500 nurses they, I think gonna, out there? They're they going to bring some people <laughs> they in. They're invited right? to the game. <laughs> they're, not, they're not going to have anybody? No, they're not. No, no, yeah. There was, <laughs> was 17,000 in Green Bay. There was 75. Right? Yeah, there was 17,000 yeah. Yeah, in Green Bay. Green Bay was off the yeah. chain. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they were rocking. Oh, it was, and oh got, man. Yeah, well. It was 17,000, but being, being around there, bro, it felt like it was, it was 50. You know what I'm saying? It felt yeah. like it was 80. That like it was it was it was a great atmosphere. Okay. Um, but I do think that um, if Tampa Bay are is able to have fans, um, at least like how kind of like Green Bay did it, where yeah. um, people are able to go, but you kind of got a social distance and wear mask and all this little extra stuff, right? I think if they do that, um, Tampa Bay would definitely have an edge. Definitely have an edge in this game, and you playing at home. Yeah, I mean, man, this is yeah. this is Pat Mahomes and Tom Brady. It's almost like it's almost like that that it's like passing of the torch. torch. Yeah. You know, yeah, it fact. really is and I just I mean, listen, I watched Tariq Tyreek uh, um Hill against Buffalo and there was like there was slots and hitches and curls and he was catching them. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've never seen somebody get out so fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at his feet yeah. and it's like what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, a, yeah. it's like, how do you just explode yeah. like that? He's explosive. Yeah. And yeah, he that's turns that's what's normally three, four yards, and it turns into 11 yards. And it's like, <laughs> God. Right. Yeah. And and Travis Kelsey. I mean, oh, man. I mean he's mm. I, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the guy that mm -hmm. muffed the punt? 
That was McCole Harmon. Harmon. McCole Harmon. He's no joke either. Yeah, he's just McCole as fast Harmon. almost as uh, – he's almost just as fast as Tyreek to me. Tyreek, yep. Yeah. Yep. You know. He's, he's fast. I mean, listen, this is a big game for Kansas City. They're playing against the GOAT. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, is he's he's up for this one. I mean, it's just, this is what you dream about as a quarterback. As a child. Especially as a quarterback that they're saying is already the best in the NFL. Yeah. And now you're going against the best. Yeah. To ever play, yeah. oh, you got to yeah. show out. You got to show out in sure, two weeks. Yeah. You got to show out, yeah, for sure. and I think they will. And I think it helps that he's already been on this stage. Because yeah, if not, yeah. then the stage will be maybe, maybe too big. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but he's been there, yeah. and, and he's, and he's really composed. Yeah, he's yeah. a really composed. Yeah, guy. yeah. This, at yeah. all times too. At all times. Yeah, at, at all I've, times. I've never, really, I've never really seen him <laughs> off his onion besides when they slapped his noodle last week. Yeah, you know, and 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 he kind of went. I don't know what happened to him, but he did the noodle dance. And does anybody said, wow. else, does anybody else think he has a really weird walk? Like when he's walking to the sidelines, <laughs> is it? <laughs> <honest to anybody? laughs> Have you it's ever like, seen it? Like a, a gate. You yeah, gotta, it's like it's weird how he walks to the side. Gotta, like you ever seen two women in like a subdivision and they're speed walking? <laughs> That's how yeah. he looks when he goes to the sideline. Yeah, side he walks like he got some sugar in, in his tank for sure. But, I don't get it. I don't get it. But, but uh, yeah. yeah, so I think. I think it's gonna be Chiefs. I, so I mean, what about you? We talked about uh, Aaron Rodgers. Right. You said he's at the 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 twilight. We don't know how long he got left. Win or lose, is Brady done? I think. I no. think. Listen. I think this team Ooh. that he's with right now is <laughs> no. gonna carry him at least another two three years. Yeah. It's just. I mean, there's yeah. so much talent. There's so much talent over there. I mean, really. Mike Evans. You know, I think a, so a, a B is gonna come back. Yeah. It's there's just so too, much talent offensively, and it's gonna hide his age. Right, right. It wow, already is kind of hiding his his age a little bit because he's not making the throws in the he's same not. way that he used to. He's not, you know. He's but, not, he's not but, even taking the pressure that he used to in terms of in the pocket. But right, the thought about going out on top. Yeah, if he wins, I mean, if he if he wins, There's it's like it's like Ray Lewis. Could Ray Lewis have gone another couple of years? Sure, but yeah. I think he won he won a he won crazy it. Super Bowl. Yeah, and then he's like, this is it. I'm yeah. done. I mean, yeah. I'm done. But you th- you think about a guy like Brady, a guy like Jordan, a guy like Kobe, rest in peace. If you if you're at the doorstep every year and you're and you have a team that can get you there and win it, we're going to ride this thing out until we lose. I mean, you know what I'm if, if you're Brady, you I, look at that team and you're like, "Why not go another 2 years? If we can get there, I don't know." Thanks. But I and I agree with you was talking about Ray Lewis, but at the same time, Ray Lewis was don't forget, bro. He was dealing with injuries and yeah, being banged up a lot. And, yeah, you was. know the deer antler spray scandal and all that stuff that he was, you know, dealing with <laughs> yeah. with his with his shoulder. So he kind of like put everything that he had into that and then went on out. For a guy, this to me would be more of a well, I can't even say that. This would be like I wouldn't even know what it would be like because. Uh, the last person that I think like went out and still had a lot left in the tank is like a Barry Sanders or Calvin, you know, yeah, Calvin Johnson, um, you know, but Detroit guys, Tom Brady, right? <laughs> yeah, all, all, all Detroit guys, <laughs> yeah, Detroit makes yeah, them quit early. <laughs> so your team makes people quit superstars, <laughs> quit early. There's something Bonafide, in there. yeah, that, yeah, first that's, ballot that's, all that's the quit on y'all. are quitting. No comment. <laughs> Of course not. Yeah. Um, but no, that's a good question. Yes, I mean, if it if it if it is, I don't know. Brady is weird. He's like he's extremely competitive, and it's not like he's in New England where yeah, it's not like New England where it's like okay, you don't have the talent and you don't have the ability. He's in Tampa Bay right. where it's like I don't really have the ability, but I have a lot of talent. talent. I sure do. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. He said he wants to keep playing. And now he's got the resources to do it. Till he's at least 45. Till he's 45. Now, I'm going to tell you what. He's staying until he's 45, and he's going to retire with <laughs> half a spleen. These young, these young boys yeah. not playing. And yeah. they're not going to save him either. They're going to go after him. So, I don't know. We'll oh, yeah, see. For sure. we'll, we'll see. I don't want to see him anymore, quite frankly. But we'll <laughs> see what so, happens. Didn't you ask, is he the GOAT? Yeah. So, listen. GOAT. That's a good segue. Uh, Ken, we got to we're gonna have to keep you on and kick somebody <laughs> off. We, you know, uh, so yeah, so we got go and greatest. Okay, greatest of all time versus the greatest. I think time, and this is we're gonna talk when we talk about this any sport. Mm-hmm. I don't doesn't matter what sport, whoever you think. Tom Brady is the greatest of all time in the National Football League. Whatever, it's not even debatable for some people. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is the greatest. The it, 
he's the greatest ter- in terms of skill and ability, talent. talent in the National Football League. And I mean, I guess my question is, and now Pat Mahomes is and, on yeah. Aaron Rodgers' neck. To yeah, me, Pat yeah. Mahomes is like right up there as far as you know, greatest talent from the quarterback position that we've ever witnessed. Now let know, me ask you this, Tuck. Now let me ask you this, yeah. Tuck. You just made a What's good up? point, but if if okay, you put Aaron Rodgers in in Kansas City, and does I mean does he look even better than what he looks right. I mean, you all he's got he right now is Devontae out. Adams, and he's got Scanling, and he's got Lazar, and you got. I mean, you put him in there in Kansas City, where he has the guys that they got: Kelsey, Hill, right, Hardman, um, you know, Edwards, Hilaire, uh, all the Le'Veon guys. Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon. Yeah. I mean, you got all, all the, those guys. I mean, what? it's almost like he would be even. I think he'd be undoubtedly the best quarterback. In terms of talent, because he, he can still do it now, he still makes the throws, he still makes the reads, he still gets out of the pocket, he can still shimmy on you and get to the end zone. I mean, I don't know. I think it's a team. That's why I said I think it's a team issue with him. I think what Aaron Rodgers has now is good enough, but I do think if there was one more guy, if they, I mean, I think if there was a Kelsey. On Green Bay, mm-hmm. it's over. Right. I think Gronkowski on a Green Bay. It's, yeah. you know, it's he a, needs yeah. one more guy. Yeah. yeah. I um, I but I, I don't Devontae think Devontae Adams ain't enough. I don't think he'd be very successful. I mean, we're talking about sheer talent. Yeah, he would be. But I don't think he'd be successful in the Kansas City system. I think he needs to stay in a system I think he like, would, would say a system like what, Green Bay? Yeah. Because it's more, it's too. He he needs a more. It's more static. Like he needs a more static system. Kansas City is, they they are their route. I mean, I just don't think that yeah. he. It's too I, explosive. You yeah, think. yeah. I can see that. I mean, he's getting up there. I can see that. He may, like you said. I think maybe this system he's in currently, is perfect for him, and it hides whatever he's dealing with. And he can still be explosive in this static. <laughs> System. I mean, you go to Kansas City. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta go. <laughs> you know what I mean, like you gotta yeah. run. You gotta. It's a different offense. But Aaron, um, I said he needs just one more guy, mm-hmm. and that guy actually might be a different coach. Now that's not gonna happen. But just uh, say, yeah. just say with the same system now, yeah. same players, yeah. and Andy Reid yeah. standing on the on sideline Green of Green Bay, yeah. it'll be a different game. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Side note, question: Ken's just saying that makes me think about this. If you put if you put Aaron Rodgers in two thousand three, or whatever year that was two thousand whatever in New England, does Aaron Rodgers win the same amount of titles that Tom Brady wins, if not more? No, 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 no. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Wait, wait. no question. Absolutely, he does. Yeah, yes, absolutely, he, he would does. have six Super Bowl rings Easily. by now. Easily. Yes, Come absolutely. On. Are you kidding me? Wait, you said put if Aaron Rodgers. if you just swap Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers if teams. Brady, Their teams and talents and yeah, careers. Yeah, you basically. just swap them. Can Aaron Rodgers do in New England what Brady oh, did in okay. New England? I heard you wrong. Yeah, yes, come yeah. easily. I we'll get think. the milk duds out here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal, Jamal said no. No, I'm, I'm saying no, man. I'm actually not sure about that. Why not? Let I me think, hear why I not. Think, bro, I think I think Brady and Belichick was a match made in heaven for the time that they were together, and I just don't think Aaron would have been as susceptible to that the way that Brady was. And yeah, Rogers, but, you mean it's pliable? But that. but, and Rogers but Aaron Rodgers can listen to a uh, uh, twenty uh, a coach years younger than him. Yeah, he's not younger than him. Matt Lafleur is older than Aaron Rodgers. And Matt well, how much older? Well, how much older, Jamal? What? How much older, Jamal? <laughs> <laughs> like five <laughs> years. All right. Well, so he's gonna listen to this guy who's in his first year. He's got no problem with listening to dude. But you don't think he would listen to Bill Belichick? Yeah, that's, 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 that's a real. Really? Over the years, and Bill Belichick was <laughs> really? coaching the defense. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Tom, not Bill, not you, Bill Belichick. I ain't listening to you, but I'm gonna listen to Matt Lafleur. Matt, for Matt sure. Lafleur. I'm not even gonna argue about this third and or about this fourth down. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna that's argue. Silly to me. I think. Bro, it's okay, like, well, it's easy. The, the coaching styles are extremely different from Bill Belichick to Matt Lafleur. So. I agree with that. I mean, yeah, obviously, what, we then know what that. You ask, then what are you talking about? You it's said, not about listening to him. He's a professional. He's going to listen to his coach. Exactly. And and what happens in professional sports, you know why they bump heads? It's because <laughs> one player is not listening to what the coach is trying to say. This is why we have issues, right, in pro sports. Because you listen to what the coach is saying, and you're like, okay, this shit doesn't make sense, right? 
So right. it doesn't it doesn't resonate with you. I don't think he would listen to Bill Belichick speak and be like, "This guy doesn't know yeah, what he's no talking." Way. About. <laughs> no way, Jamal. No <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bro, Jamal's two like, sheets Jamal, to the wind tonight. What are you? What do you mean, bro? <laughs> he has the talent to go out there and do everything. Jamal, that's, that's why you laugh because you know you sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm not gonna go ahead, man. Y'all got it. Well, I, let, let me let me let me back up Jamal just a minute. I do think that okay, what now he, you knew. Now you knew. Hey, hey, I do. <laughs> I do think what he said. I'll mute him if I got him. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. And that's Jason. One of the, Jason one of the things he said that's important <laughs> is that you can't you can't just you know talent and chemistry are different. So the way that Brady and Belichick meshed and created that system, you can't just say, "Oh, I'll insert another talented guy to go do what he did." I mean, there's a level of respect and camaraderie and just you know brotherhood or even like fellowship kind of thing that that's what I don't know that you can replicate. And as much as we talk about the Green Bay Packers receivers, I don't think Rodgers would have been able to do what Brady's done with the receivers he's had. I don't, but I don't know. What? That, I don't, no, I don't know all. that Brady, what no. Brady did with the with receivers Deion he Branch had. With Deion Branch and all them, no. Bro, bro first of all, bro, those, those are, they, they were good. good. Yeah, they, they were, they were good. What are you talking bro. about, bro? They were good. They, but they Brady made them Bro, I average. think it was I think Stop. it was the system and the scheme a little bit though. I don't think Brady was that Absolutely. that cold That's that he exactly was just what it was. I, I, it was like, I don't think Rodgers couldn't have duplicated that. I don't why why not? Like why not? He's they not weren't saying cold. he doesn't have the talent too. I'm talking about chemistry. Okay, well, bro, they I mean, was about to drop Tom Brady for Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, ex- yeah, like they didn't even like, like Tom Brady. Brady. Him now, bro, stop. Yeah, like they didn't Come even on, like bro, Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers could do it, bro. I'm no, no, talking no, no, about. No. I'm talking about the year that Cam had. I'm not talking about Tom Brady watch, bro. I'm talking about look at the year Cam had. If they were gonna move on from Brady anyway, they should have stuck with Jimmy. That's well, cool. Cam That's Newton is saying. not Tom Brady yeah. at all. Yeah, he's right, he's but a they had completely the, but, different but they, style of a quarterback from all of them. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, you know, right. all, he's a different style than all those. But guys. I'm saying they they had the carbon cocky, the, the cookie, the cookie cut. They had the same thing with Jimmy Garoppolo, and they moved on and they let Brady finish out his his little career. But if you were going to move on from him anyway, then you should have kept Jimmy G. Yeah, and I don't, I, mean, I, yeah. I, I don't, I, I, mean, I don't know I, what, I don't know what happened with Jimmy G though, because, dude, something, something with Jimmy G didn't mesh in New England. Otherwise, they, I mean, you don't think Belichick would have no. kept him if he, if Belichick, he was, no, that's no. not the Belichick problem. wanted. Tom Brady, Belichick went, wanted to Tom Brady went to Robert Kraft and said it's either him or me, and they, yeah. to, and and they was like, all right, well, Brady, we fuck with you, so yeah, I, Belichick right. wanted Jimmy. I mean, Belichick, Kraft. yeah, Belichick Thank wanted you. to kind of push Tom Brady out and let. Garop come back, come right. in or but, whatever. It, but this but goes, Tom go pulled the big dog move and went to the and owners went, and, went and, and, told, like, and went and told daddy. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That's what it is. Let's call it what it is. You went and cried about yeah. it. That, that's I a, mean, that's yeah, a goat call move. That's true. Yeah. That's a goat <laughs> move right there. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, yeah. I didn't like the other day. Uh, I just think that there's a right way to do you know things. And they, after the win, the owner grabbed the trophy. And then Tom Brady came up and I said, why isn't the coach speaking mm. like one player mm. goat, whatever mm. is not better than the team. So then Facts. what happened especially on the, in football? Exactly. Exactly. Especially in this game. So then on this the next the game, game, the Bills and Chiefs, Chiefs won, owner grabbed the trophy, Andy Reid spoke before Patrick Mahomes. Mm. Now you may say, well, oh, he's the goat. One player is not greater than the team, and I don't like any of this, how they treat And then he can go in and talk to Walter Crabb. Then you got the Tucker. Yeah. Then you got all, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I, I agree. it That's just kind of clouds the whole effort to me. I agree with that. That's a great point. I agree. I mean, listen, and I know I know it's not the same, but I feel like if, I feel like if you know, I won't even say that, but yeah, it's the same as LeBron. Go no. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I, 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 I just feel like that's what he's like if, LeBron. LeBron, if, LeBron, if LeBron did that, that's what you guys wouldn't have had an issue with that. <laughs> you wouldn't have. If LeBron did that, it would have been, oh, well, he's the team. He's the coach. He's the manager. He's the 
But I still think that well, that's because he still really think is, that, though. Right. <laughs> and like you said, <laughs> that's because he coaches Frank Vogel. And that's like, because he really yeah, is. Yeah, but I think Tuck like said, basketball, lie. basketball is more it's individual. It's completely sport different, right? I mean, yeah, like, but, Tom, like for, I'm just giving a quick example. Go ahead, go ahead. Like, Tom Brady has to go out there, do what he has to do, right? And then he could go score in the last two minutes and leave 30 seconds on that clock. But that defense and, oh, I'm the greatest. I did what I got to do. I left, still left 30 seconds on that clock. Guess what? He got to go sit. His he got to go sit down. He's on the time. Yeah. And he has no type of Same. influence nope. on what's going on in that game, bro. In basketball, LeBron James made that block on Iguodala. LeBron James averaged, you know, a triple double and all this <laughs> uh, other stuff that he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have impact offensively and defensively, right? Yeah. So where in the last two minutes or in the final seconds or whatever, whatever. So really. When you're when you're a dominant basketball player like that, it's different because you really are the team. Bro. But let me that, ask that, you this though: like, <laughs> like let me, let the me other ask guys you this do though. matter, but LeBron James can go any when you're elite. The coach, but LeBron still James, Kevin first. Durant, whatever they can go. But anywhere the coach is still first. In, I agree with yes. that. I agree. I agree with that. King. Here's my issue about the LeBron thing, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're LeBron James. That's number one. So that comes with. We waiting to hear LeBron anyway. So if you're LeBron James, <laughs> no, they, 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 they don't care what whoever's got to say anyway. But, so, but this is true. my thing. If I'm LeBron, I'm I'm gonna show that it's a team effort, even though the world knows it was me. And I'm gonna say, hey, right. come on, uh, who who Vogel up there, Belcher, whoever yep. the coach is, Belcher, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever, <laughs> whoever, they, whatever clown they got in there now, come on <laughs> up, you know, no, let 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 him no. do what he has to do. And then they'll get to right. me when they get to me. I'm LeBron. I'm LeBron. Right. Everybody, so it's, it goes me, without but... saying. Y'all know what it is. I'm LeBron. So I'm not pressed to get up and talk. They know. They know. That happened though. When they won a championship, he was the last one to talk. I'm not saying he. I'm not saying that that he didn't do that. I'm hmm. just saying, you know, because Tuck was saying, you know, talking about the time. Yeah, thing. yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, just okay, in, gotcha, in, gotcha. in comparison, yeah, I just yeah, think, yeah, you know, if you if you're that guy, if you're that, if you're the face of anything. Hmm. I think that I think there needs to be some humility there, yeah. and you just say, you know what? Hey, everybody knows I'm the goat. I group. agree. Yeah, they know, they know and, and, and since I brought it up, let me give the I little agree, bit of credit though. to Tom Brady. You know, he did speak before uh, Bruce Arians, but then he, in it, he's like, okay, come on, get some other guys up here. But I mean, it was kind of like, fake. but you're already up there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why why don't you just let other people? Hilarious. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we say that? <laughs> he gone. <laughs> fake news. He gone. <laughs> Bro, y'all are hilarious, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I just if I can make one point, if I make no <laughs> others, yeah, make it point. is that Charles Haley was the first. NFL player to earn five rings, period. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. And and yeah. the right. fact that that gets glossed over so much, so much. Uh, it wasn't quarterback. Two different teams. Make any argument you want to make about it. One guy got five rings. Yeah. And it was not Tom Brady who was the first one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. now I'll acknowledge that he surpassed it, but I'm saying like. You can't. You can't. You gotta show homage. Yeah, homage. come on. And, and, and I don't like that. I, I never saw anywhere where he did. And here's the thing about it. Not to jump back to LeBron. Sure. LeBron sure. would say that. <laughs> no, LeBron would say that. Yeah. He would say I wasn't. No, LeBron would say I wasn't the first one like, to do I wasn't this. The first to yeah. do this. It was. It was yeah. old boy. He would, he would do that. Yeah. Tom Brady wouldn't think I'll do that. He's gonna be like Fred Sanford. Yeah, he won five rings. Great. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, have, I have seven. <laughs> yeah, I got seven. So, um, get you off know, my lawn. Yeah. So, the, okay. So let me ask this. Question. Get off my lawn. <laughs> so let me ask this question. Um, just in terms of basketball, you got great verse go. Are there people in basketball that you feel like? Here yeah, go. he's the go. Here we go. But who's the better? I was who's waiting the for better this. talent. I was. Bur- I was waiting. For <laughs> and this. I need to know. Here we go. Talk to me. Here we go. Who is? Who is oh, it boy. now? Because Mike is still Mike. Don't get beside yourself. But if we're gonna use just today, we'll say LeBron is in that place for just today. <laughs> but who oh, is oh. the better, <laughs> the best talent? Okay. On the, in the on any in, in the NBA on the eve of the of Kobe Bryant's commemoration of life, yeah, yes, oh, I'm going to uh, yes withhold oh. my comment from this discussion. <laughs> wow, and say, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, 
He played the fifth. Wow. Because, because, because on the eve, I can't say he anything. I can't say anything uh, wow. tonight. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. I'll go with the GOAT. That's Michael I, Jordan. Okay. Ooh. I, I would say this. My favorite <laughs> player of all time, hands be, down, is Kobe Bryant. Family. My second favorite is Allen Iverson. Your own family. The greatest. Go now, ahead. the greatest now. talent. LeBron. With that being said, <laughs> it's the greatest talent that I've ever watched it's is LeBron James. It's LeBron. No okay. question. So you let know. me say this. Let me say but, this. Because y'all really going to piss me off tonight. But that does not make him, to me, that does not make him better than my guy. Because I don't think he is. I don't think he's a better. That's fair. That's fair. I think, because, and I, no, that's go fair. Go ahead. He's not better to me because, to me, he don't have that clutch if I'm going to be the greatest, right, if I'm going to be the best of all time, basketball, we know. That when it all falls, bro, it's going to fall on that one guy who is yeah. your guy. Yeah. And I feel like what LeBron has done and has mastered the art of, to me, <laughs> is, is hiding is, is, no, 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 is hiding behind <laughs> these words right here. I make the correct basketball play, and I live with that. He's, he's mastered the art, to me, of hiding behind that because his fans and everybody that loves him in that, in that manner, they always be like, but he made the right basketball play. He's a basketball player. He made the right basketball play. And it's like, bro, sometimes the right basketball play is to say, give me the ball. And yeah. I'm going to go get a buck. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get the stop. Yeah. I'm going to guard blah, blah, blah. Yes. I'm going to guard Kevin Durant and lock him up yes. in the finals. That's yes. what I'm going to do. Sometimes that's what it takes, bro. And to me, my guy has always had that in his heart. Kobe, Ibo, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I LeBron going to have the stats lines to be there and all that great stuff because he does everything so great, bro. He does everything so great. But to me, from a attackers and from a mental standpoint, he's literally getting 40 and 40 points and 30 points and stuff like that without even to me being engaged like that from an attack mindset. That's how great that man is. But it, you know, but to me, I need that next step, man. I, I need it. I, I so agree. Can get it because his career about over. So oh, Brian. Well, said, <laughs> yeah, well, he ain't gonna get sure. it because this is what I, this is what I'll say. And this is what I'll say. Rings, though, so. This is what I was, yeah. And that's the next thing we're gonna talk about rings because <laughs> I think people didn't lost their mind about these dog on rings. <laughs> but this is what I'll say. Okay, <laughs> LeBron, LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. Okay, and I and I'll just you first. I'll address the Kobe. Le, Kobe Bryant is is hands down easily a better player than LeBron James. Not easily. Easily, but move on. Easily not, better than LeBron easy. James. Hell, Hell, not easily. 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 Hell, easily. Hell, easily better than LeBron James. Easily. The only thing you can give me. Better. Only thing. Hell, listen. No, bro. I would. I listen. Would. He's easily better. No. And the and the main thing is that LeBron, that LeBron 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 is LeBron. 80% to me because he's so physically imposing. Okay. You're penalizing him not for that? I'm not penalizing him. I'm just saying, if we're going to be honest, LeBron is able to do things effortlessly because no one's standing in front of him. That's, nah, you can't go by that. No. It's the truth. It's That's, a, no. Right. LeBron yeah, didn't, talk LeBron, about didn't skill LeBron didn't have to, he didn't have to perfect certain things right away because he knew that his that his physique was going to get he him there. He had to perfect his jump shot. No, no. Listen. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, did you watch the, did you watch him play? Did he watch, did you watch him against your Pistons, nigga? He, yeah, <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> shooting the ball like that. <laughs> exactly. He, <dunked> on, <laughs> exactly. He, scored, he scored the last 30 the last ninety points, on, and, okay, and, and it wasn't a jump shot in the sight. Last, yes, that's what yes, I'm saying. He scored the last thirty dunking on y'all. Yeah, yeah. Time. So don't don't do that. But what happened on Saturday? Straight when we, to the basket. Okay. But what happened? He laying it. When the, yeah. 2006. I'll never. Okay. Forget. But 07 when they went up against the Spurs <laughs> finals, what happened? The Spurs yeah. were just Popovich oh, no, Pop, no, no, no. Popovich was just he like, lost. nope, nope. They didn't do no, no dog on LeBron they rules, got, man. They, no, stop they, acting no. like they did they the LeBron no. rules they on this forced, nigga. No, they forced him to shoot the ball and he couldn't. <laughs> you, That's bro, exactly what happened. Are you comparing a team that this nigga took, Sasha Pavlovich, Booby Gibson, right. Daniel, exactly Marshall, to the Marshall, to the San Antonio Spurs? No, Zildrunas, Elgas. No, what I'm saying, no. He, he, come come get midnight over here. <laughs> he had to get a jump shot though, because he didn't have one. Bro, we got a chance against them. Hey, <laughs> what the hell? Come on, no, no, no. So listen, okay, so it's, and like like I said, no. rest, rest <laughs> in peace, Kobe Bryant. I don't want to get in, into all that. That's my guy. I don't want to get into all that on the eve of his passing. No. I will say this for today's players. I think LeBron is obviously the greatest right now of this generation. I do think Kevin Durant though. 
is is, is it, better than is him. Better that's, than my, that's my vote. Kevin Durant. I, I think Kevin Durant, is, is, sure. Kevin Durant is yeah. scary. He's sure. scary. Kevin Durant. He's scary. You can't teach a seven footer that. And he's seven foot For tall, sure. and he's playing like a guard. I mean, it's you scary. That's, that's, that's that. tough. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like that's tough. You yeah. said he's better than LeBron. I think talent wise, yes. he's yeah, talent right, wise. right now. Talent wise, talent yeah. wise, what else? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Scoring wise, have you been seeing what he's been doing? Scoring wise, yes. Yeah. 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 Talent wise, overall, talent wise, he's been no, averaging no, no. thirty five, no, no. like no, no. twelve and eight. I'm not right letting y'all get No, he's, he's coming off crazy. of an Achilles. Yeah, you if you're, if you're yeah, talking about twenty twenty one, I don't know, but like twenty fifth, twenty sixteen. He was busting them in too. Yeah, he was. He was. He no. was. Bro, you got yes, he bust LeBron in the finals. Because he had a better team. Listen. He had listen, a better team. Listen. I mean, uh, Russell Chelsea, Westbrook Chelsea, is doing Chelsea, the... Uh, Chelsea, LeBron being yeah. physically yeah. gifted yeah. is not a talent. You realize that, right? Say that again. Say that again. No, say that again. That's not a yeah. talent. Your talent he, he is your He was born ball. that way. Yeah, LeBron is no. not a talent, bro. Lady Gaga's. But I'm saying, <laughs> shout out, yeah. okay. shout out Gaga. About, so you're saying Kevin Durant? Shout out Gaga. Okay, so you're saying? <laughs> oh my! Shout out Gaga, no Google. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Gaga, no Google. Saying, <laughs> so you're saying overall talent, KD is better than LeBron? Absolutely, right now. Bro, absolutely. Yes, you're saying yes. Kevin Durant yes. is yes. overall talent. If yes. not, if not one A, he's one B, the most gifted scorer I've ever seen in my and life. And that's what I said. Next to Carmelo scoring? Anthony, bro. Uh, Basketball. Six, nine, next, next to Carmelo pounds. Anthony, shout out Syracuse. You think his defense is better than They're LeBron's? They're getting smashed right now, by the way. Syracuse is 52 know, they, they trash. Know, they they trash. You, you, mean, wait, they you trash. guys think that Kevin Durant plays better defense than LeBron James? And rebounds yes. and pass the ball. <laughs> yes. Rebounds okay, now, can, we, can we make yes. something clear no. about LeBron James' I, defense? I no. think he plays better defense LeBron, LeBron James', James. defense is, is basically help side chase down blocks. <laughs> Exactly. Like LeBron's, LeBron's not defense, sitting on I'm nobody, bro. I'm gonna give him a step. He said on Kevin Durant. And I'm Durant. gonna go get it. He said on Kevin Durant. No, he didn't. Kevin no, Durant gave Kevin him a night. Busty. Busty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him. Kevin Durant was Busty working that man. Okay. He was working. Uh, so he's a better. Even they, listen, even when Kevin Durant went to OKC, when they were babies, Kevin Durant was busting his ass for thirty. So it Easy. was. It ain't no. He sat on Kevin Durant. He he, he couldn't even. Okay. Say, he the couldn't ball was say. giving back right back to him. Listen, before you hurt yourself trying okay, to say that Sheldon. point. Okay, Sheldon. listen, listen, <laughs> listen, LeBron. Le, listen, <laughs> LeBron Brian couldn't fit. even. LeBron couldn't even sit on Rajon Rondo. What are you talking about? <laughs> the, when the Heat played the Celtics Man. and Rondo oh, had forty. Oh, so oh, I'm not trying to hear no. I'm not trying to hear nothing. Nobody. Bro, that was one game. That was one Matt, game. I will, Matt, I will say this, though. LeBron did sit on D-Rose in that Chicago He Bulls did. When D-Rose was the MVP. Yeah, because he, no, he, sat, he sat on D-Rose when D-Rose had, yes, had elbows for D-Rose is 6'2". Yeah, 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 D-Rose like, is 6'2". Like, but, <laughs> but he was the MVP of the year. He was the MVP of the season, though. Yeah, bro. He was MVP of the season. D-Rose is, is, is listed 6'2", which That's means he's fine. really 6'2". He's 6'2", bro. <laughs> He's six two. LeBron is six eight. He's six nine. He's yeah. Come I, think, on, I think that actually oh. makes that tougher. Oh, he's six nine. It he's does make it tougher. Nine, like two fifty. <laughs> he's right. It makes it tougher. I think it that makes, makes it, it tougher. That makes it tougher. That's a that it was no, a star it point guard. How the hell yeah. does that make it tougher? That doesn't make it tougher. Wait, say what makes what tougher? He said. He, go ahead, Ken. Go ahead, Ken. Go ahead, Ken. Ken, explain your point. I'm saying an explosive guard with footwork that. Brings these guys out and dance with them when they're over six seven, and LeBron sat down on them. I, I think that makes it tougher than guarding a guy in the post. No, because you're not. Know, but LeBron no. has always had a guard's mindset, though. I'm just. I, it's it's I, tougher for a six nine. Let's no, no, take no, no, let's I, anybody I, other than LeBron that's over six six trying to guard a guard. That's, it's, that's a really tough matchup. That's not happening. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna <laughs> tell you why. In the it's not. It's not tougher because of the fact that where you lack in footwork, you gain that back in length. And a short guy like me, I, I would. I've been short my whole life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was tougher for me. Now I could dance. I could make a move a little bit, right? But they would always play a little bit off, so they can recover. It's tougher yeah. for yeah, so they can recover. Yeah. it's tougher for yeah. me to shoot over that guy. So it yeah. made every shot that Derrick Rose was shooting tough. And he had to he had to take him to the basket. He, he had to go to yeah. the basket. And now and now I have to go to the basket. And guess what? 
when you get to the basket, guess what? He's still six eight. Yeah, yeah. So you're not, you're, he's you're sending not it. finishing that. No, no. It's not. Yeah. How about when yeah. you get past him, there's a seven footer behind him. I'm right. not, I'm not saying that he. Saying. I'm so not like, saying he didn't. But please tell me who Kevin Durant did that to. What do you mean? What guard? Gu- what guard was Kevin Durant guarding? Kevin didn't play any defense. <laughs> I mean, like he what? Guard- Wait, no defense. Okay, he guard who? He guard who? He guard who? I mean, if <laughs> I had guard, to no, no, back, guard. Listen, 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 who did he guard? Listen, I'll, I'll say this. Who did he guard? I'll say this. Bron? I'll say this. Bron gave him a triple. I can't. Okay. Huh? Okay. I'm just saying. He who did he guard? I'm just saying. Who did he guard? At, at his at his height, who at his guard? length, who has he sat down on? That's a that's a that's for real. Nobody. That's not true. Because nobody's Ooh. as good as Kevin Durant. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, no, th- no, there's no, your answer. You made our <laughs> Moving on. You made our point. He can't guard a person like him because there is nobody. There's nobody like him. <laughs> <laughs> How great is KD. Is KD. Team with me. Team with me. Come on, see the beat. KD. I feel it. Come on, right here. Oh my god, I've been corporate working twice. Y'all funny. Yeah. This is so. This is what I say. Okay. So going from there, I wanted to talk about the rings thing because I saw an interview. All the smoke. It was all the smoke podcast. Matt Barnes, Stephen Jackson. They had AI on there, and I was watching AI talk. And I was just like, man, people will always say AI was the greatest, you know, guard or whatever. And I feel like then they try to throw the caveat of there's no there's no hardware. And I just like the more I as I get older, the more that I think about different players careers, I'm starting to kind of feel like the rings is is an unfair knock because it's like, I mean, AI Mm. wasn't going to get a ring. I mean, he wasn't going to get a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was Facts. no... Facts. He wasn't going to get a ring. There's never so, no way. There's so no how way. can you never. discredit him and his ability and what he did for the game and who he was as a player because he didn't get a ring? I just feel like that's unfair. No, you're not discrediting him. You're, not, you're just not putting him in, putting him in that but category. But why not? Because he, bu- he, he busted everybody in oh, that he category. He's one of the greatest. Yeah, I mean, no, no, like, no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Okay. No, go ahead, Jamal. Go ahead, Jamal. I was going to say, let, let, let's just put this in perspective. Kevin Durant was not going to win, win a ring in OKC. I think he could have. So, so. I think he could have, though. I think, fans, I think they should have been Golden State. They, they, want their, they want their guys that's, to be oh, loyal, man, but if you don't win a ring, you're not a GOAT. Bro. So which, one, so which, which side of that coin do you want? Golden State. They easily could have won a but ring. But they, they were up 3-1 but on Golden State. They should have won. But, but what, he didn't. Okay, okay so what's your question? So what's your question? You said which side of the coin? What's your question? Yeah, I'm, but I'm saying. So you're saying, do I want him to be loyal or do I want him to go get a ring? Is that what you're asking? As a fan standpoint. As a fan. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. If I, if I'm a Philadelphia 76er fan, I don't have an issue with the fact that AI didn't bring me a ring. We had AI, right? Because AI I don't care. You I mean, we had every, Allen Iverson who game. who made it worthwhile to go to a Sixers game. Take AI exactly. off. Who are you yeah. going to watch? Aaron McKee and Derek Coleman? No. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to watch your daddy play. <laughs> uh, Eric Snow. Yeah, Eric Snow. <laughs> I mean, year old Antonio McDice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if yeah. I if I'm if I'm a loyal Sixers fan. I don't care that AI didn't get us one. I don't. Well, I mean, okay, but, that's but that's, a, that's a loyal fan. Right, but right, now we got to talk about right. But but so that's one thing. Okay. But so, now we're gonna talk about champions. He's a champion, though. He's not a champion. <laughs> he's a champion. He's not a champion. He's a champion. He's not so, a champion. so it's Charles Barkley. First of all, y'all right. not y'all ain't gonna do AI. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Charles Barkley. What he's done for the game and who he <laughs> was, the way that he dressed, the way that he talked, the just, the way that he commanded the floor, and the way that he brought bombs to the finals against I mean, Kobe Bryant. I mean, it's Kobe Bryant and, Shaq. and Shaquille I mean, what, do you, what do you expect? He hey, was and, never and, going and, to and, and stole a game in LA. You and stole a game in LA. You want a cookie himself. for making yes. the finals? And stepped Sheldon, over, Sheldon, uh, stepped Sheldon, over Ty Lue, LeBron's yeah. coach. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's a good tidbit. To <laughs> I think Allen Iverson is one of the greatest guards to ever play the game. I don't think that Allen Iverson entered the NBA thinking, "Hey, I just want to be loyal to the fan base in Philadelphia." No. He hey, entered no. to get a ring. But that's I think, every player. But, right? I think you, but, I, well, I think, but I think once you get to a certain point in your career, you make an, you, you, your assessment becomes okay. This is what the situation is, okay? It, you can't. Just, it's not like today where niggas go to a different team 
off of Every a whim. Like it's like it's not right. like that back then. It was so a you, different thing. So you think if, Matt, if, if, so you if, think if AI, AI went into that final, was thinking, "Oh man, we don't got no shot." So no, I think no, I think I think I think I think AI went into that thing. AI could have put himself in a different position. Yeah, but it, if he had better. Yeah, players. and to answer you know, your hey, question, you know Sheldon, and to answer your, hold on, Jamal, to answer your question, Sheldon, I think AI went into that final saying, yeah, we're the underdogs, but they're going to feel me, and we're not going right. to get punked. And that's I exactly think that's what, what it was. Yeah, we're the underdogs, but y'all going to feel me. Like, and I feel like that's the reason why you can't, like, if, if I'm having a, if it's, if it's Kobe, if it's Brian, if it's whoever has rings, if I see AI, AI can come sit with me, bro. He can come sit with me, bro. It's AI. Right. He was busting right. my tail. Right. Even though the I won the ring. Like, he, I was in the league. like yes. come on, dog. Yes. That's because he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. Bro, think about it. Yeah. Him, <laughs> Tracy a, McGrady. All like, Hall of Famers. These guys. <laughs> bro, <laughs> what? Jamal. So the but you're not putting, you're not putting Dan Marino on the same Yeah, but I'm saying, but I'm saying. Okay, okay. so let's look at Kobe Bryant. Let's look at Kobe Bryant. Okay, Kobe Bryant. But he is. He's not, though. Yeah, he is. Dan Marino is in the same conversation. So they said the same table. Dan Marino's a top 10 passer of all time. Yeah, I mean. Passer, that. I mean, yeah, okay, a passer, and he's a quarterback. That's a pretty big stat. But he what has the no hell, rings. Yeah, what the hell you want him to do? Yeah, he he has has to be a top, top ten rusher? He has no rings, though. <laughs> he's not, <laughs> he's not invited to the table because he has no rings. No, Dan Marino's going to be invited to the table. No, yes, he will be. Tom yes, Brady and those will. guys will allow yes, Dan Marino in the room. Come on, man. Okay. Yes. And here's the thing you got to understand. Tom Brady, Brady, Dan Marino, guys like that. Troy, you know, those guys. They all got rings. And, here, and here's the they thing. They all got rings. And, and here's I'm the thing, though. Just think, everybody who has category. rings. Here's the thing you got to think about with AI, though, bro. Okay, so you got LeBron James, okay, who's yeah. played with every superstar oh, possible, here, number one. Here we go. I'm just saying. Facts. Okay. Then you got Kobe Bryant. Had an just opportunity. The truth. He played with Shaquille O'Neal. That helped them get their rings. Okay. Then he comes back and gets his rings with, to me, just, you know, a little awesome. bit above average guys. Honestly, okay. okay. He, then, had, he had a team. He yeah, he had a, a he had a he had a good had team, team, but Kobe Bryant is what pushed them over, and it was the right time for them to do it, and they did it. Okay, okay. Then you That's look it. at you look at an AI, okay, mm -hmm. and you look at his situation, and mm -hmm. AI was never in a position to be able to do. They weren't guys weren't going to Philly. He wasn't going anywhere. So when you look at the guys who have rings like a Brian, like a Kobe, bro, they had opportunities right. and situations where they could go and get that ring. Bro, if you get it, right. and listen, and here's the thing, and, and here's the thing, AI and them went to the went to the, the, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but they weren't gonna beat Kobe and them though. That's what right. I'm saying, bro. I'm not saying they weren't. They didn't have, have they, a had a, they had a they puppy Carmelo Anthony, okay. and they had Kenya Martin who was on his last leg. And they right. got AI. Birdman. Bird, I mean, they, they weren't going to beat LA. Now, I think if they beat LA, I think they win it. I think if you, I, I agree they win that. it that I year. I think they would have beat Boston. They, they win Boston. it that year. So I'm saying yeah. you got to look at when he when it finally became cool to, to trade and go places. Okay, so he goes to Denver. But it just you still got to go up and see. You got to still got to come through LA. And I think that you can't hold him accountable and say, well, you can't come sit with us at this table because you ain't got no rings. Bro, that's Allen Iverson, dog. We're not oh. talking about. We're not talking about. You know, but there has to be. It's it's. Come on, there dog. has to be a a difference. No, between people I don't think there is. So, I, so it, Hilton, Hilton, can I say two things? Because 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 the only reason why they let Bill Russell sit at the table is because I mean let's be <laughs> let's be honest. No, none of them want Bill Russell at that dog on table. No, none of them want him there. They look at that brother like, all right, nigga, you, you can come over here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, that, none of them want Bill. Yeah, you did that in the thirties when it was peach baskets and stuff. Don't right. come on now. Put some respect on Brad right. Russell. Okay. Is he going to ABC you or something? What's up with that? <laughs> Jamal, what were you going to say? <laughs> go ahead, Jamal. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead fam. The two, hey, the two things I was going to say is a, uh, a, a, ver a present day comparison of that is Dame Lillard, how he could have left Portland, but he stayed. He decided to stay stupid. in Portland and do what his thing. He came to a realization and said, this is where I want to do this, regardless yeah. of what happened, win, lose, or draw. But see, nah, that's, the second, that's, that's, the, that's different, though, bro, because that's Dame that's Lillard – Dame Lillard made a decision that he didn't really have to make. He, I mean, look at where he is now. So now Dame Lillard knows he's never going to win. And he already opened up his big mouth and said, I'm never going to leave. AI didn't say, I'm never going to leave Philly. He just was out there playing. Dame came out with a team he knew was never going to go to the finals and win nothing and says, Portland's my home. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why the heck would you do that? So now, realistically, they're not going to win anything. So now he that's totally different. Dame was stupid for that. Right. I still think he's stupid for that. 
I mean, why would you do that? Well, Steve, hey, Stephen A., calm down. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not Blake's fault. It's well, not Blake's fault. <laughs> it's not Blake's fault. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think Dame Lillard is saying to himself that we're good enough or I'm good enough or I'm going to work to where we get this team to the place of you know, we're contending or we're competing for championships year in and year out. I understand that I'm an integral piece. So if I anchor myself here, then the guys around me would do the same. And then if other guys in the NBA know that I'm never leaving here, maybe they'll come want to, you know, do something with me or team up or something like that. Because that's what all this is now, man. Go go and play with your friends. And But, I mean, who? okay, so, and not to go crazy with this, but who – Okay, you got Damian Lillard in the West now. Okay, he's been in the West. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. Portland to me, I mean they're they're playing well. Okay, but I don't see I don't see them. I mean, unless some who's gonna go to who's gonna go to Portland? Who's going Who's going to Portland to push them over the edge to, for them to win? For them to beat the Clippers when LeBron's gone? For them to well, beat you know? I mean, like who like wh- who's going to Portland for that? They're not. I mean, you got to trade for a guy. I mean, it's not like Chris Paul wanted to go to the Suns. I think Chris Paul just wants to go play. I think he just wants to play. I mean, Chris Paul's at a point where he's just like, dude, I'm still cold, and I'm just going to go wherever they need me to kind of help bring them out of obscurity. I mean, I just think that's there what it is go. for him. You know, he, he likes yeah. projects, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's not going to contenders. He's going to projects. <laughs> let, let me answer your question. Okay. I don't think that rings define the person because there are right. people without rings that are amazing. Rings do have a, a, an impact on the career. Oh, my goodness. And, oh. and, if, and we will invite we you know they will invite Allen Iverson into the room and he can't even sit at the table but he can't take the picture because he's not a champion like I mean it's yeah I mean you know you got your you got your friends and your family and y'all all all chilling but when it's time for a sibling photo bro I love you but but hey take this picture of us real quick yeah take this picture of us real quick I mean there's a there is a There's a there's a group. No, no he's right. There, listen, right. That's, hey, listen, that's a great. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. Come on in. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a, it's some family pictures where <laughs> the friend might make the family look a little bit better. But <laughs> but no, that's a great point, and I I agree. Yeah. When, when we're talking about championship experiences, and yeah, when we won that year, and yeah, when we did. Obviously, AI can't, but you know what they will have to say? Yeah, we won that year, but AI gave us hell. Or, yeah, yeah we won that year, but AI was on our neck yeah, every course. time. we. And that I feel like that eno- is enough to say you can sit here. You yeah. can sit here. Yeah. I, I, I mean, there, nobody there, else on that there team is really... a difference, though, between a champion and the heart of but, a champion. But I think AI I, has I think AI well, was, he, he has the heart of a but, champion. But, champion. but here's but the thing, though. AI, That's if fair. AI was put in a position to win, you telling me he would okay, be yeah. a champion right now? But you can't, you can't do Bro, that, That's yeah. Wild. There's, yeah. You can't play what this. ifs. You can't play what you ifs. Got, you play what ifs with the Lions and the Pistons every year. The heck? Talk about can't play what ifs. You play what ifs with these Detroit teams every year. Hey, Shelby, you you telling me my money. Like what yeah. you trying to say? If, if you got an MVP award, then you can sit at that table, bro. Thank you, yeah. bro. Mm. Thank you, bro. Uh, Barkley with no. So race. do you MVP think D Rose can sit at the table? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey Blake, Blake, t- Blake, tell Kevin sit down. I mean, Blake, <laughs> tell Kevin get somewhere and sit down. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, Prime D Rose can sit at that table. Listen, Yannick uh, back to back can't even sit at that damn table. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said Yannick back to back. He, he said an MVP can sit at that table. Oh, well. That's a good point. But I mean, no, okay, I, let's I, let's think I, about I, the listen, MVPs I, as of I late. Don't. As of I late. Don't. So you got I'm sorry. KD. KD can so sit there for Steve sure. So that means Steve Nash can sit at the table. Right. <laughs> right. No. no. I'm, I'm no. sorry. Right. Steve, they I'm gave good. Steve Nash an MVP. That he didn't earn one. Two of them in a row. Right. Now, now let me ask. Now let me ask you this question. Now let me ask you this question. Are there are there players? Okay, are there players who um, may have may have? So let's just take a Steph. And I know Steph is real. Don't don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Before y'all get to tripping, mm-hmm. I know Steph is real. But are okay. there players where yeah, Steph has what four rings, five rings, three, three, three. three. He has three rings. Okay. 
But then you look at an AI, and it's like, I mean, yeah, Steph's got three, but I mean, it's, it's AI. You know what I mean? So it's like, do you look at different players and say, yeah, he's got the ring, but I mean, to me, I'd almost rather have this guy, or I'd almost rather have that guy. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not, I'm using Steph just because he's the guard that has mm-hmm. the MVP, but, or even the Westbrook. Yeah, was, let's just say Westbrook had I a ring. Go, I would go Westbrook. More than right, more than Steph. Well, well, Westbrook doesn't have a ring though. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, neither I'm does just, AI. I, I know, but AI is who we're talking about. I'm saying, are there guys? Okay, so like an Isaiah Thomas, mm. you know, would play for the Pistons. Mm. Yeah, he was great. I mean, it's like I okay, do you or, or Joe Dumars? Yeah, he has a ring and he's great. Mm. But it's AI. <laughs> What's Joe Dumars gonna say to AI? It's AI. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you got a ring, but then got AI. Joe Dumars. <laughs> AI would give Joe Dumars for yeah ninety. <laughs> Like a night easy, easily we're getting for yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? I, said a night. So I think it's I think it's like then it becomes then it be, I ain't gonna say a night. Not that night. <laughs> then it becomes but that. I do like think he would he would forty ball them. I do. I and, believe right. That. So then it becomes like yeah, I got a ring, but that he's like cold af. <laughs> like I mean, like he's cold to yeah. me. Like that brother yeah, is facts. like he could easily be sitting here with a ring like me. Facts. Like he's yeah. like that. So I think that's why I feel like the the argument and people cementing legacies because of it isn't fair. And Charles Barkley in the documentary, Charles Barkley was like, "Bro, we I lost to Michael Jordan, bro." Like, right. he's, he's like, like he's like, he's like, he's like, what you want me to do? He said, like, "I lost to Michael Jordan." He said, "We all lost to Michael Jordan." Like, yeah, like you know I mean, like how you, like, how do you, how do you, pers- yeah, how do you persecute Chuck? And he lost to Mike every time. Like nobody was beating Mike. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think it's. I mean, that's understandable. It's understandable, but I don't think yeah. it's us. Persecuting them because uh, no, y'all they cannot be y'all along persecute. with champions. Y'all per- okay. That's not. I don't think that's. Okay, so, that's so not. So name me some champions on the Pistons right now. <laughs> okay, well, so we're gonna move on from that. Then. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I think. I think that is. I get it. I get it. Like 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 my brother Ken said. <laughs> like my brother Ken said. Some people you can come oh, to. The, you can come hilarious. to the picnic. You can come to the cookout. <laughs> You can come to all of that, but you can't take the picture, and that's fair. And but AI I'm, can't I'm, take the picture. and that's fair. But if I'm AI, I don't necessarily care about your picture. <laughs> I mean, of I course, mean, like, well, I, I mean, he, sure, I mean, great. You guys have you guys have rings together, cute. I mean, like, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I feel like that's just not enough to make somebody's career less than to me. If that person is great, you know, what right. I mean? Tracy McGrady didn't win a ring, did he? Nope. No, I mean Tracy McGrady, but, he's a, like, but he's it's a dog, Tracy McGrady, bro. bro. But he's at that table. Oh, Absolutely. for sure. He's like, like there's but nothing he's you can for table. sure. Him and Kobe like was definitely, yeah, year in and year out. There's nothing you can say. There's nothing you, you know? can say. Um, so Melo's not at the table, like really? Yeah, yeah like Reggie Miller's you know at the table, on, man. Yeah, like you know. I mean, come on, bro. We keeping it. I don't know. But then again, y'all want Robert Ori. He can he can go sit there though. Right. right. <laughs> Robert Ori. Robert <laughs> Ori. That is unbelievable. Come on, that man. Is unbelievable. Like, it's guys like that who's getting rings. Kenny the Jet then. Smith. Yeah. Like, you know. Well, so Kenny the Jet Smith coded in AI. <laughs> yeah, so defense is shit at the table. Yeah. Five rings. <laughs> hey, right. Uh, Tony shit. Allen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Jason. Not you, not you, Allen Iverson. Tony Tony Allen. Allen. Go ahead, Jason. Yeah, come on. Shelton, you know somebody named Abby? (laughs) Yeah. She said hi. I know. I see it. Yeah. Where's all you fool? Where's all you fools, ladies? At Abby? Who's Abby? I don't know. She said hi, Shell. Guys. She said hi, Shell. He bought the. I'm gonna tell you something right now. What's up, Abs? What's up? Okay. What's up, Abs? All right. I hear you. But listen, Marcus. Anybody? Anybody that's going? That's going to shout out Shelton. And not and not, re- not respect everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. She, she got another thing coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, Abby, Abby's a very nice girl, I guess. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for listening to the show. Thanks, and guys. thanks for shouting out Shelton. Appreciate it's it. his first shout out of his life. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's very excited life, right now. Man. Anyway, let's let's yeah, let's. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's just my take on it. I mean, I just felt like it was a it was an interesting thing that you know people they that's how they judge you and i don't know if it's fair i don't know if it's fair because yeah like you said like like you said t- tony allen has rings but a i'll give him 50 so it's like <laughs> oh. it's like great <laughs> you know what i mean like i don't it's like i don't know what do you want me to say <laughs> you know yeah I mean? yeah yeah so I don't thanks know. but but i think from a player i mean from a player to player type of thing i think they respect 
check it or respect it more than like fans, right? And more than people yeah. that just, oh, yeah, of course. you know, spectate and watch the game. I firmly believe that Kobe Bryant is like, when he see AI, he's like, yo, like, this is Allen oh, Iverson. Awesome. Like, he's yeah. not in a situation like, oh, yeah. he ain't wearing no damn Marines. Yeah. Like, get out of here. Kobe's like, yo, that's AI. That's my guy. Come on. Come on over Absolutely. here. Absolutely. You're, you're a part of this. Elite, it's just an elite, it's an group. elite club. Oh, they, You're here, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it is, and you don't let's not say I'm not suggesting we disrespect uh, Alan. No, he can't take pictures, he can't get, he can't <laughs> get a plate, <laughs> but the brother can't <laughs> eat at the cookout. Like, dog, no, man, I mean, there, there, there are, <laughs> he can't get a plate. <laughs> can, he, can he eat something <laughs> at least the potato salad that the white guy brought? Can he eat the potato salad that the white guy brought? To, you get it to go. It's at a different table. Who's made it? Yeah, it's, it's at a totally different table. They got casseroles. They got. We, we, we're not going to disrespect uh, Alan Iverson. We're not disrespecting him, but it's I'm just done. different groups. I am done. Yeah. So, so, right. so what uh, Tucker was saying, like, I mean, yeah, mm. that Kobe would, lo- Shaq would love to see Alan Iverson because. They are superstars. That's not what Tony Allen, right. you know, like they they are right. superstars. Yeah. So he gets right. to, you can't take away that he was a, a superstar and all star and MVP. It's a heck of a career that not many people can live up to. Yes. He's not a, doesn't have a ring. And that's not like, oh, so now you just, no, no you just don't have a ring. It's just a fact. But here, and we just got to <laughs> yeah, yeah. move on. And let me say this. Let me say this. Let, let me say this. And that's a great point. Yeah. Let me say that's a great point. Right. Because like I said, yeah. AI got to sit at the kids table in cans of mine and eat the juice box, drink the juice boxes, whatever. But let me say this, though. You just made a great point. You said, you said AI had a career that is rare for a lot of people to have. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think anybody goes into the NBA, I got I to gotta win a championship. I think guys going to the NBA first, like, I, I want to be, I, I I wanna wanna be, be successful. Great. I want to yeah, be great. I want to I wanna be a great player. Yeah. I, I want to be a yeah. good player for some guys. I mean, Pippen was like, dude, I'm not even that great, but we'll see what happens. And he ended up being right. one of that the best, was, hey, that the best was sidekick ever. Take yeah, your ass to the gym. So I think, I think, yeah, I think first it becomes, hey, we got to respect the fact that this guy completed the journey of getting to the league. And not only did he get to the league, he became one of the best guards ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, can we can we come together and at least say that as an individual of getting to this stage, he he did what he was supposed to do? Like, you don't have to win a championship I mean, I when you go to the NBA. That. I think that's exactly what he was saying. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, we don't make the exactly rules. Exactly what Ken was saying. We don't just, make the rules when it comes to the champions. We don't okay, make well. Like, all right. Well, yeah, we see. respect. Yeah, no, well, I, I'm right. Chuck, I, well, should we respect his career? Absolutely. Like. Yes, 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 and everything about AI, it you is can yes. sit at my table, AI. I know, I know it doesn't mean, matter, but you can sit at my table. But you hear people, everybody? Don't get, <laughs> people don't get into sports to not be the best. He was the best. And best. to be one of the best. You are, you, not that it's the, pro, let's not say it's the proper rating, but you are rated based on the ring. Like, you're not the know. best until you're a champion. That's not true. That's not true. You're not the best until you're a champion. That's not true. I don't think it's and, true. And all champions say it. That ring, and that's the thing. That ring the only means people that the that people ring puts you in that the people that don't like it are the people that don't have, have it. it. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like because they feel that's like they're crazy. being disrespected. No, I think it's because they feel like they're being <laughs> no. disrespected because they know that they can give you ninety. No, and you talking about I can't come up because I ain't got no ring. They don't think. But, that let, me, but let me say this: they don't think. Allen that. Iverson got paid, and he should have got paid for all the work he put in. Yeah, he got paid. He's great. He's one of the greatest. He's not. He's not a champion. He's not a champion. Man, okay. I put you, you guys in a different. Mind. So let me. Yeah, because we could we could go on for another three hours. I want to. I want to finish yeah, with this. Yeah, let's, let's I, I want to finish with this because we. You know, we love to run over time. So this is the last thing I want to talk about is is Shaq, his comments to Donovan Mitchell. I thought that was so out oh. cold. I thought that was so foul. I really did, and I felt like I felt bad for Donovan Mitchell because he was just kind of like, man, I just got through playing. I'm sitting here looking and talking to Shaq. Like I'm kind of, okay. you, could, you could tell he was excited to talk, kind of right. talk to Shaq. And then Shaq goes, "I don't think you can okay. play at the next level." No, okay. What do you no, think no. about that? And it's just like, okay. bro, was he wrong? Was he wrong? Blake, okay. Blake, Blake, okay, tell Shaq. Kevin. To, Blake, no, no, tell no. Kevin to go sit down. <laughs> hey. Kevin's been in this podcast. Yeah, thank you. Okay, go ahead. My question is, was he wrong? <laughs> My question is though, was he wrong? Was he wrong? Was he wrong for what he said? Oh, wasn't wrong. <laughs> He what? Wrong. Yes, he was wrong. He was, wrong, oh, he was not man. wrong. He was not he said, wrong. I, he said, I don't, I don't think wrong. Donovan Mitchell can can go to the next level. No, no, he did not say no, that. Bro. He said he's bro. not at that level. 
You know what that was. That was that was someone trying to challenge. That was fuel to the fire. fire. Okay, this yeah. is what, this no, is what this is like, like, from an athletic standpoint. No, like, Shaq did not mean LeBron James, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant both, and it wasn't specifically because of the Donovan Mitchell situation, but they both came out and said that these old heads need to stop. They and and when and when they showed the Shaq clip, players were tweeting and saying, "Bro, chill." I saw. Oh. And my thing is, I this get it. Yeah, this generation is, is soft. soft, and they. Bro, and I'm not, and I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm not. They take bro, every I'm not criticism saying, as a, as a. I'm not saying. Shot I'm not, not saying. I'm just saying. I feel like. I feel like in the moment. I feel like in the moment, it's just kind of like, like that's that. It was awkward to me when I watched it. It was awkward, and it because I think Donovan Mitchell was just like, like you, you saw the oh, way right. he re, the way he reacted was like. Awkward and it was like sad and it was like okay like yeah man I guess I, I I've heard this all my life it was just weird like if you're gonna do that like you do it differently I feel like and he could have Shaq could have said that in so many other ways and I feel like it was just like whatever so my point is this my point is this, this is my question do you feel like old heads are in are putting themselves into the game far too much than they need to be. No, that was fine, bro. It was he, fine. He, he wasn't. Was he wasn't. That's some sensitive shit. Bro. It is. They're, they're, he's hey, fine. Hey, if you take okay. it that way, the okay, okay. Jamal, here. you fought a stop sign, <laughs> and you talking about people being sensitive. <laughs> You fought a stop sign. Stop. You fought a stop sign when we all went out. You lost. You really We all went out to Royal Oak, and that. you got that motherfucker never had a bewildered. shot. Bewildered. Yeah, he never gave yeah, you yeah, fought a stop sign, right? that but that's sensitive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got knocked out. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> I, 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 listen, I think I think the pinnacle of I think the worried about making. I think I I think the I think the pinnacle of sensitivity is when you're offended by an inanimate object. And so I think. <laughs> being offended by a stop sign, <laughs> you can't speak on sensitivity. But go ahead, I'm listening. Well, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's old heads inserting themselves in the game. I mean, Shaq, that that's his job. He was doing his job. He's not doing that his it, job, and not that it was a good question or a, at the good time. I don't know that he was doing his job well in that moment, but he was doing his job. It's not like old head inserting themselves outside of an improper role. Uh, yeah, I just think I think the players best, need to stop being so. So, Damn, so, okay, well, the okay, best, so the you, best so part you think, about it so you think is LeBron is sensitive when he said that the, all heads need to Let stop. me say this: the best part about it is Donovan Mitchell's response. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. That was his perfect That's, response. Because what, 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 what he wanted was a fight. What else? He wanted yeah. like he wanted a back and forth, and, and Donovan, Donovan Mitchell, Mitchell just shut it down. Wasn't gonna give it to him. Okay, no, but I don't think Donovan Mitchell did that strategically. I think Donovan Mitchell did that because he was caught off guard. He could take on. Yeah, I mean. I think that, I think Donovan Mitchell did that because he was caught off guard. I don't think he was like I'm gonna intentionally not say anything. I think he was just kind of uh -huh. like whoa because he was this, no, this no, turn no, really no, quick. No, 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 no. Because he would have done it either way. Bro. These 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 guys are smart, man. He's been interviewed. He's been mm -hmm. in the spotlight his whole life. Him getting asked that question, he knows what Shaq is doing. Yeah, Shaq is trying to get him, him to say something, anything. Right? Like, he wants him to be like, all right, I'm going to show you. And then the headline is going to read, Donovan Mitchell sh says, I'm going to show y'all this year. Or, like, you know what I'm well, saying? And so now it's, that, put, it now it's putting, like, something out there. I think what Donovan Mitchell did was very smart, just like you said, Ken, to where he gave him nothing. He diffused yeah, the situation and that. also gave him nothing. I agree. Also answering the question. You know what I'm saying? He was just like, mm, okay. Okay. That yeah. that's pretty much yeah. how Thank I got it. you know what I took. Hey. He was just like, okay. hey. but my but no, my, real quick, but who, my who's person? changing our names under here? Who put it to slap box the stop sign? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blake is doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Blake. Yeah, Blake, Blake, put one up there that says "Tell Kevin to sit down." He put <laughs> Shelton she tripping, right? <laughs> hey, yeah, Shelton nah, tripping is gonna real, be a, a weekly <laughs> guest. It will not be. <laughs> I I was seeing that like what what happened? Yeah, I just let it go at this point. I just yeah, let it go. Talk about Kobe too, bro. Um, uh, you said what? Talk about Kobe. Okay, yeah, no doubt. No, doubt. Uh, no go ahead. Like I, I don't. We, well, no, and my, they I got mean, this brother spitting. Yeah, I mean, we got to yeah. we got a lot. Yeah, this brother is spitting. What was no. the topic? There? Well, the the base the question was because oh, because LeBron yeah. LeBron and not even oh, not even say, related to Shaq. Shaq Shaq has done that other times though too. Joel and B. You yeah, but Joel Embiid is soft. Joel Embiid is soft. Oh, but he, but I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I get, I hear you. My I, my main thing was LeBron and KD both got upset with Charles Barkley, and Katie they both said, and, and LeBron even said like, "Hey, like y'all need to stop talking about the game." Is what LeBron said. 
So I'm saying if we're gonna use the sensitivity measuring stick, use it for your okay. boy too. Yeah, yeah. Use it LeBron, for your boy LeBron, LeBron, LeBron yeah. too. Well, LeBron was sensitive. That's all in I'm that. saying. He was he was sensitive Wait, in that position. Is, I, I LeBron got mad at an interview and picked up a purse and walked out. <laughs> so don't <laughs> so don't 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 do that. Bro. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, listen, I promise this is the last thing and we're going to get out of here. Uh, like, you know, we all know that this is the eve of Kobe Bryant's passing. So just real quick, you know, what was his impact to you or a moment where you realized, man, Kobe Bryant is Kobe Bryant and whatever the case may be, what was something to kind of just commemorate this brother that we lost far too soon? Well, uh, I'm also just going to say thank you. To my brother and all these guys, I appreciate it hanging out with you Absolutely. all today. Thanks for bro. coming out. Yeah, man, we appreciate no you coming through. Man. Can't appreciate, appreciate you, brother. Yes. Battle's out of there. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, he's replaced, right. bro. Yeah. Battle's done. Hey, battle, you, you watching yeah. this? You're done. You're, done. You're fine. You, you can sit right there. Back. Keep, hey, man, keep eating your annihilators and cheese sticks. Don't, don't fire my dog done. on the air, man. <laughs> if you fire him on the air, man. Done. Not on this day off. If you ever come, if you ever come back, like Greg. If you ever come uh, back, we'll kill you. Yeah. Cole, Cole, we'll kill you. That was funny, show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so this is it. Okay. Oh, um, Good. What, what, what happened what happened a year ago was beyond tragic. Um and yeah. Kobe, Gianna, and the others, what nine people I think perished yeah. that day. Um it was it was beyond tragic. I was sitting there by myself when the news came across yeah. and uh the pit of my stomach, Absolutely. I felt it. Absolutely. Um so much uh respect for what Kobe what one of the greatest ever of all time. The, what I'll say you know, just quickly is I grew up on Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Um, and mm-hmm. I still leave in the bathroom or whatever. When I go to throw something away, I still yell Kobe, yeah. you know, and, and, and throw it out. So, um, I mean, he, he had an impact on basketball, but he had an impact on life. He had an impact on this world. And, um, to him and all those, uh, that perished, uh, may they rest in peace. Absolutely. Go ahead, show. I know it's tough last. for you. But, um, I'll just say this then. Listen, like you said, you were where you were, man. When Kobe passed, I was playing in a just like a league tournament game, and I had my Kobe's on. Mm. <laughs> I looked down, and I had my Kobe's on, and I'm playing in this game, and everybody stopped, and they're like, bro, Kobe died, and the game stopped. Like, people, like, we didn't finish the game. Everybody in the, in the gym wow. was dead silent. We're looking at the phone and looking. People are trying to. Some people were tearing up, like, and it was just the moment was so unreal and overwhelming and thick in this room that Kobe Bryant has passed. You know what I'm saying? And so I think, you know, like you said, not to make light of the others who passed. Prayers to their families, even still today, because they're they are having a tough time tonight thinking about tomorrow. But, mm-hmm. um, you right. know, I just think that right. I just like you said, Ken, I mean, I always. I mean, I was never a Kobe hater. <laughs> I was always a Kobe fan. Just the, just how cerebral he was and how he had approached the game, the men, the mama mentality that guys now – I mean, he created a mentality that players use to this day. We, we didn't have a name for it. It was X Factor. It was whatever. Mm-hmm. Then it became mama mentality, and that had a whole different meaning. Mm-hmm. And I just think what he did for the game was unparalleled. I, you know you know how I feel about him versus right. LeBron and my, whatever – I, you know, I just think that Kobe Bryant is Kobe Bryant is Kobe Bryant. I mean, it's just the name alone, and you almost don't have to say anything else. And so, mm-hmm. I mean, he just he means the world to not only me and my playing the game, but everybody I'm sure who's played at some point or another. And so, yeah, it's tragic, like you said. So, yeah, yeah go ahead, talk. Yeah, uh, condolences, like uh, just like my other two partners, man, Ken and Matt. Uh, condolences uh, to the families of those nine people who died in that helicopter. Super tragic. Um, but uh, Kobe, to me, man, when I think about Kobe Bryant, um, my fir- my favorite player, right, growing up, my first player that I ever wanted to be like was Allen Iverson. Um, and I fell in love with Allen Iverson because, like, we're on the East Coast, right? So we get all I – I used to watch all of the 76ers games, right? So – I knew, okay, like, boom, they playing the Nets. They're going to beat them. And then, boom, then we going to the finals, like, whoop the whoop And the first time I fell in love with Kobe was when I saw him play against Allen Iverson in the finals. And I, I, I didn't even really know who Kobe was at the time. 
But when I saw that, I was like, wow, like this dude is better than my favorite player, like way better than him. Right. And so um, I started watching him, started studying him. And just like you said, Matt, when you talk about a mentality, when you talk about just an attack and an approach to the game that's completely different, that people, bro, he's literally saying, hey, yeah, we can go out and party. That's cool. Come on. Yeah, everybody. Come on. Yeah, all of us. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go turn up. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? You'll get in the room at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then by 4.45 or 5 in the morning, he's knocking on your door saying, get up. Let's go. Let's go get this work in. You know what I'm saying? Guys aren't doing that. They're not. That's, that's, that's not what it is in today's uh, NBA or today's sports, pro sports period, right? Um so just the way that he attacked the game, um, just from everything, bro, his poise, his demeanor, bro, just everything about Kobe Bryant was so ahead of his time. And it's just a shame that uh, we weren't able to see him live a full life. I really think um, his impact was just starting to take off because his his life was literally going to a completely different level. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Jamal. Go ahead, Jamal. Yeah. Um, you know, just everything you guys said already, um, you know, Kobe Bryant was one of the greatest players of, you know, in NBA history. Um, you know, our, our version, our generation of Michael Jordan, um, you know, like if it, anything that, you know, the old heads say that, you know, what they saw Mike do, we saw Kobe do. Um, right. Yeah, so, absolutely. so just an unbelievable athlete gone way too soon. Um, I remember being in my room and I literally just got home from work, t- turned on ESPN and I was like, the first thing I saw, and I think Blake text something in the group chat and said something, and I was like, "Oh hell no, let me turn on the TV," and and it just was like a, a snowball effect from there. Um, just talking about it, be, being able to witness greatness, man. Um, I've never. I, I think this was that was really the first star that we seen that like we seen an entire career from, and then now he's gone from us. So it was like one of the ones, like it was our icon, our legend yeah. that kind of right. fell off. For sure. So, for sure. Um, it was one of those things. It's like, man, I, I, I'm sad that my kid won't be able to see Kobe live and do whatever it is he was going to go on to do in life. Yeah. Um, but man, I'm, I, but I'm gonna have fun telling stories about him, man. I'm gonna have fun turning on the tape, you know, showing my kids stuff like that. So, um, R.I.P. to a legend, man. Mom out for real. Yeah. Go ahead, Blake. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I, it's crazy because I was sitting in the same spot when Kobe died. Like, I heard the news on my phone, dropped my phone. I was like, no, 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 no. This is not, this is, this cannot be. And so, obviously, it was. And, you know, I guess just the thing, the impact that Kobe left on me was really just, I remember watching Kobe doing work in high school. Like, yeah, man. Talk and like it. watching him sit down with Spike Lee and break down a game. Yeah. And I had never, like, in my life, thought about basketball in the way that he was yeah. breaking it down yeah. like the x's and o's obviously you got that but just it was the little things he's like if i if i look this way i know the defender in back you know not even the guy that's guarding him but the guy that's in back to you know is gonna is gonna shift though he was he was breaking the game down to a different level that i had never seen so before. cerebral and i so was cerebral. like that's crazy and so when you watch kobe attack basketball the way he attacked basketball is the way that i want to attack life for sure. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. In in yeah. any any form, whether it's my career, whether it's my family, whether it's you know relationships with friends, all that stuff. So, I think that was my biggest my biggest takeaway was just attack everything with the same ferocity that Kobe attacked life. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Great. Um. Attack. Just piggyback on what y'all said. Um. One of the greatest, and that mentality is what we all should have, like Blake said in life, and. Just that adversity he went through, all the injuries he's played through, and just how he attacked life. And, um, like y'all all said when the news happened, it was like, oh, whoa, 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 nah. You have to kind of do a double take. Like, did I really see that Kobe died? And it was just like, man, that's, that's crazy. It's like it was almost like um, a family member died because, Absolutely. like, you, like you, we've all said, mm-hmm. we grew up, we grew up on Kobe, watching man. Kobe. So it was just yeah. like, man, it hit extra hard because it was yeah. like, man, we we grew up watching Kobe, and, and it was just, man, it was it was tough, and you know, long long live the legend, no doubt. Listen, 
Sheldon, you ain't even like Kobe. Shout yeah, out. I mean, it, 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 I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. And then I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, the guy that didn't like Kobe is going to talk last about Kobe. But I guess sure wasn't trying to. You know, I do. How does it feel? How does it feel now that my dog is dead? Oh, okay. How does it feel? All right, Peter Legend. How does it feel to be had hating on him? Such a hater. Your whole. I was not never hating on Kobe. Yeah, you did. I just said. Oh my God! Yes, you did. I just said Brian was better. Brian's not bad. Out of here, bro. Oh, yeah. Talk about we should, we should attack life like Derek Kobe. would have said the well, same tell thing. Tell Brian, tell Brian to attack <laughs> like Kobe. How about that? <laughs> Dang, that was Call a, me. That was a piece uh, of woman. Y'all want to take it there? Oh. You know, Dang. I think uh, you know. Hey, it's Kobe Bryant, man. In the regulation oh. podcast, episode four is in the books, and going, it was a good one. We got a special guest, even yes, sir. somebody came oh, in and dropped knowledge on us and talked to us. Look, man, we got we got a lot of we got a lot of heat coming. We're on a roll. I'm enjoying it. We're having fun. Stay tuned. Share it. Post it. Whatever you got to do. Next Monday, same time. Yes, sir.